To put it quite simply, without the ERDF funding, this project would never have happened. It means jobs for the Cornish economy. It means jobs and skilled jobs at that. The growth programme is a pot of money worth some 600 million euros of European structural investment funds. To date, that fund has already been invested in over 100 projects in Cornwall's and the Isles of Scillies. The United Downs wouldn't have got off the ground without ERDF funding. It gave us more than £10 million. Geothermal energy is a baseload technology which is really, really important for Cornwall for sort of filling in the gaps between other renewable technologies. This project never would have happened without ERDF and the growth programme. For Cornwall, it could mean that we start a really good new high-skilled power and heat industry down here. I think it's unique. I mean, we are really the vanguard for, for councils in, in, in the UK. Cornwall's been incredibly supportive of us and our business and prepared to take risks. That has allowed us to go out and employ skilled engineers and expand our workforce, which wouldn't have happened without those projects in being in place. The RDF funding forms roughly a quarter of our package of funding, and that's enabled us to implement a range of flood resilience messages across the whole of the catchment. Collectively, the project will help around 600 homes and 120 odd businesses be better protected and more resilient to flooding. The St Earth Hub is an amazing project and it's become so successful. There's been a huge increase in passenger numbers on that line. That speaks for itself. The ERDF funding ultimately has eased up the pressures on the taxpayers' purse strings and has allowed us to fund the remainder of the scheme with the support from the Treasury. Our scheme will increase capacity of the rope network in the area and will make the journeys along the A30 more reliable. Overall, we are looking to be a real blueprint scheme for how to deliver sustainable road projects. So the growth programme was really integral in making this project happen. The area where this funding is going into is about job creation and helping creative industries grow and this project is really important to the DNA of Hall for Cornwall. So we think it's really great that the growth programme are investing in spaces like this. As a company who are also trying to tackle the climate emergency, we're really proud to be based in this office space. It's really exciting to see many of the projects which have started under ERDF being continued now through other funding streams, often from the private sector.